Hi guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell from the thumbnail, some crazy stuff went down in Rotorua. Some unfortunate situations, but they had to happen. Um, it's the, yeah, oh, just a cut to the point. I'm back in the UK, flown home. Um, I took a couple of days just to work out how I wanted to word this. Um, so you guys, I'll give you guys the best answer to what's going on. But before we get into the depth of this, Let's go back to Rotorua and have the finals day, final warm up, final little bit of practice, and a uh, bit of throwing down for the crowd before the girls have their comp. But yeah, let's head straight to that. Go, 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 go. Where are we going, Tom? Walking up to the course, it's um, Sunday morning. We should be having a slopestyle comp right now, but I'm sure you would have seen in the news that um, I understand this side when we're not speaking the speaker and you would be able to hear me. So, yeah, obviously, you would have seen the news that the male athletes decided not to compete for some particular reasons. I'll get into it at a later date. I'm not going to do it right now because we need to find out, hope to find some solutions. But we are here to uh, still ride the Magaza train and uh, support the girls so definitely get a few laps in and uh, see how much the girls can throw down which would be quite sick to see be a good good opportunity for them to set the precedent for their riding and uh, have their first ever diamond level slope style course competition which will be sick to watch but yeah just have a little wander around and see how wet the course is because we had a lot of rain last night so much rain so much rain that one of the boys in their hotel room the roof collapse. <laughs> so today guys, we're out at Crankworks Road to Ruwa. Base. Definitely needs to be put back in the oven for a little bit longer. We what we filming? Yeah. Um, so it looks like all the wooden features are all very wet still. Obviously the girls are up here riding way before us because obviously they actually got a comp to ride. But um, none of them want to touch any of the wooden stuff. So like the wooden wall ride, which they're all jumping on and off, is really wet. So who wants to put wet tires on wood? No one. Um, and there's quite a few big wooden features on this course, so definitely needs to dry out, but things trust me get it to happen. But it's nice. Oh, no one hit the wall yet. Yeah, that looks like grease. Grease lightning. How's the bottom? Uh, it looks all good, it's just anything that's wood looks slippy. Yeah. So like the Aunt Bird whale tail, like Emerson jumped in, tried to stop and we fell out there then, at the end of it. Oh, when he breaks? Like, oh shit. Yeah. Okay. And we're doing top section again. Oh, yeah, see, how, see how slippy this thing is. It looks like that. Oh. Oh, yeah. it's rough, I wouldn't so. want to put tyres on it. I don't know if anyone has. Can you get, have you got torches? Yeah, there's one coming through the top. We were blowing it and then they started riding. Huh? We were drying it and then they started riding. Uh, no. I, I, would, I wouldn't want to ride or it. Or I would probably because I'm a dumb ass, but I wouldn't want to tell anyone else to go. Oh, no. 100%. I, yeah, I wouldn't want to come in this morning, it's okay. Why I jump? I think I'd just forget though. I think I'd land like. How's it going? Head windy. It is a little bit headwindy. Uh, anything they've... made of wood looks better. Yeah. Dude, up top looks scary. Oh, the flat drop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I, I think they're just going to here so far, rightfully so, because of the wall ride. I, I think I've seen the builders have done bones and over. Yeah. But Billy's jumped it. Yeah. But yeah, it is what did it. I saw Emerson jump it. If it was in. me out here, 
I'd be like looking at the bottom like I don't know and I'd be looking at the top like I'm not gonna be ripping yeah, no. flips. But I, um, Emerson jumped into the whale tail thing, jumped in, tried to stop and his bike almost went out the end, but it just like Yeah, this wood is needs to get like dry dry. Yeah, yeah. It's it, the, the, yeah. I'm feeling for the girls that you can feel their nervous tension. Nervous tension yeah. We did have a lot of rain, so what can you expect? Let's go see what the other wooden features are like for grip. Looks fast. It looks good, it looks solid. On the flat, yeah. I don't want to get in the way of the girls. And I'll come support you guys for sure, and you guys are doing a lap for them, so it's like you don't need to. Wow, that looks sticky in there. Get it. Drop me! Probably. Right, I'm gonna go grab bikes because we got the Magaza train in a very short amount of time. So I'll run down there and grab that. I'll come back up. See you in a minute. Hey, you You've returned. I've returned with the bicycle and a helmet. So yeah, you've been around for a few days. Do a couple of laps, get ready for the Magaza train, and then we can uh, watch the girls send it. See. Anything to say for Tom's vlog? United for slopes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, the, the big guy himself, Ken, uh, Kelly 
McGarry, officially gone as Lekeza. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, so that was McGas train. That is where we call it quits the day of riding. So we're now just going to watch the girls send it, throw down. Uh, they got their finals. First ever women's slope style, which is history being made right now. Um, it's going to be insane. Can't wait to watch the girls slow down. I think Shrossi all gets the bomb and all healthy at the end. But yeah, it's scary to watch the action. <laughs> Hey again. All right, ladies, about to start. Looks like it's Caroline Buchanan, Queen of Crankworks last year, about to drop into the first runs. Weather looks good. Should be a good show. Yep, into the spine. Little T bar getting set up. Let's make some noise for her as she comes into the showtime. Money Booter with a huge Superman C crab. First one in the book. Four, that's so incredible. She's got to be so pumped with that. Full top to bottom in run number one. Yeah, it's got to be a mixture of relief and just pure, pure excitement. Making history today here in Rukuroa. Down the course as our judges are delivering. So, yeah. Oh, absolutely yeah, thank monumental. You. Congratulations. Here she comes into this spine whale tail feature. Keeping the momentum as she comes down the huge black suicidal hammer into the showtime booter with a massive tuck to T Log. Yeah, boy. Sorry, as she comes into this spine. Landing nice and calm, it's going to be the one foot on the well tail into the last big feature. Let's make some noise for her. Big top. Another T to B, nicely done. We have a no footer there as she comes into this hip with a big tire grab. Here speed through the spine. T ball. Standing out now into this last step. Let's go, Mobu. I'll make the door. comes into this spine. Let's get loud for her. She can hear the big cheer up the world here. Coming into this final step. What's she got? With a huge foot back. I think that could be number one. Yo! Yo, Robin! Check out the speed coming into this. Yes, Chilly. 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 in second, and Robin June's in first place, and that is the first women's slope style event at a diamond level, done and dusted. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will go into more detail on why we weren't competing, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Peace. So it was an incredible contest, the girls absolutely killed it, but let's get to the point and break it down why we did not compete at Crankworx Road Tour. So, the last few years we've had ongoing conversations with Crankworks, there's been multiple letters being sent um, and it just kind of came to a head and we as riders decided that was probably the best solution was to do it in person, in Rotorua, um, kind of 
don't give him any other choice but to deal with the issues that we had. Um, we had three main points that we were really, really struggling with. One was the fact that they kept, well, they removed the fact that the alternates got sorted out with hotels. So imagine being a 17 year old kid who's qualified for Bankworks, fly halfway across the world to not get a hotel, to not get the support that you need to like actually do the job in case you actually got a spot. So one, as an alternate, they don't actually get any kind of prize money or anything. So you're gonna fly across the world with a potential opportunity to compete and you got paid for a hotel and your shuttles and it all adds up very quickly. Um, I've done it for multiple years and I'm probably in very good position to tell you that it doesn't work. Financially, it is not viable. Um, I broke my back basically just trying to make it all work and make ends meet um, for the last four or five years. Um, it just it doesn't, it isn't, isn't viable for that. And the other issue we had, we had a safety issue, was that they always used to try and put the contest in the middle of the day. Uh, we could understand why, because obviously they get the amount of, most amount of people onto site, so you could actually get a big crowd, which makes total sense. But for us, the windiest part of the day when we're trying to compete is the middle of the, middle of the day. So it's the highest winds, temperatures are highest, um, and it just doesn't, doesn't give you the best opportunity to do the best contest. Um, we always have mornings and evening practice, never ride in the middle of the day. And they're always set the contest for one o'clock drop in and it's just the windiest, windiest part of the day. So we always end up pushing it. So the broadcast wouldn't work very well because it was like just your wind hold and it just wouldn't, it just sort of didn't really work. Um, and the third point is we would try to organize an appearance fee. Basically coming back to the first point is that you just don't, it's just not viable while paying for flights to fly from Europe or America to New Zealand, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to go to this country. It's an amazing opportunity to be able to go ride at these events. It just doesn't cost right. The money doesn't add up. It's just not a viable, viable cost. Like it costs so much money to fly there with all your bikes and there was no support from the event to actually go to, to actually make it happen. Um, the best, best reason I can show you is the um, IK managed to come third last year. Um, best result ever at a Crankworks event uh, and then after taxes and everything got removed from it from my, uh, from my, my prize purse I basically broke even didn't really even make it really didn't make any money um, from that event and that's coming third at one of the biggest mountain bike events on the planet um, this doesn't it doesn't add up um, so we came back, pushing back to the fours of Crankworks, couldn't really meet in the middle, couldn't find an opportunity to actually make it work, a solution. Um, so we didn't drop in. Um, it wasn't the best, we all wanted to throw down for the crowd and we were not very happy that it didn't work out, they couldn't make it work, but we had to find a uh, line in the sand and that was the line in the sand that we had to uh, stick to. So I'm sorry that we couldn't compete, and I'm sorry that we can get through down because we were having so much fun on that course. That course is one of the best ones of the year. Personally, for myself, I love that course. Um, but yeah, it's it's what it was. Um, not really much else I can say about it. Um, obviously, we've still got a few more conversations to be had with Crankworks to try and find find a middle ground, uh, work out what can be done because it is very expensive um, to do all of these events. Um, it doesn't add up and when you come in the lower half of the course obviously they did change it in the end um, they added on a 37% pay increase but when you come last and you risk your life 37% um, of like $140 New Zealand dollars so it's about 75 pounds isn't a lot of money and that wouldn't even cover the insurance it costs to even enter the event let alone your food bill for the week or anything it just doesn't doesn't really add up um, but yeah don't really know where else to go what else I need to tell you guys but yeah it's a shame we couldn't ride shame it didn't happen hopefully we come to a uh, solution before cans yeah that's what it is sad note but we had to put our, put our foot down and uh, fight for what we think's right but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this video 
and I'll catch you in the next one.